back to integrations ninjas in this video i will walk you through how to securely connect your github actions workflows to your aws account using oidc or open id connect the best part you don't need to store aws access keys or secrets in your github repo anymore instead we will be using a modern secure token based authentication flow between github and aws and you will see exactly how it works step by step so what exactly is oidc in this context OIDC or OpenID Connect is a secure identity protocol that lets GitHub Actions authenticate with AWS without needing long term access keys. Here's how it works just like in this diagram. When a GitHub Actions workflow runs, it requests an OIDC token from GitHub's OIDC provider. GitHub returns a signed token which includes identity claims like the repository name, branch and environment. The workflow then sends the token to AWS STS asking to assume a specific IAM role. AWS STS validates the token against the trust policy of the IAM role, checking if the claim match what's allowed, for example specific repo or branch. If everything checks out, STS issues temporary AWS credentials back to workflow. Finally, the GitHub job uses these credentials to access AWS services like S3, ECR, or Lambda, but only within the permissions granted by the IAM role. And the best part, this entire process is secure, short-lived, and secret-free. No static keys involved and the credentials automatically expire after the job ends. Okay, so let's try a hands-on. For that, we need to set up our AWS account. So what we are going to do, let's create a AWS IAM user first. Okay. Let me click on user. I will create a user. So give me, I will give a name as GitHub action user. Okay. So if you want to click, you can click. Otherwise, I, I won't allow this for this tutorial. I will just click on next and I will directly attach the policies for the sake of video tutorial purpose I'm just gonna add a admin administrator access policy but in the real world in the real projects you don't use this just assign a specific policy to each user in order to maintain the proper security right so let me just uh, click on next here I will create user here okay so user is created now what next so let's click here and here we need to click on secure credentials right here if we see secure credentials we can see the console sign in and all details that's all right everything is fine now let's click on identity providers and we need to add a identity provider so we need to select here open id connect and we need to enter provider url so how are we gonna find this so we need to get this details from here it has this details so this is the provider uh github oidc provider right so we'll just add this and audience also we have to use this one sts.amazonaws.com right then we'll click on add provider okay a provider with this url already exists okay okay maybe i have already added this so let me just uh, delete this and try again confirm i will delete this existing one I'm gonna create a new one again. I'll just add all those details again. All right. Done. I will click on add provider. Now we need to assign role here. So I'm gonna create a new role. It will be, I will be selecting the trusted entity type as web identity and identity provider will be uh, this one this we have selected and audience will be the sts.amazonaws.com now i need to select the name uh, of my organization here so 
I'm gonna work on this repository and this is my organization this is my username so you have to enter this if you have working on enterprise you can add your organization enterprise cloud also you can add your organization but since this is mine so I will add this and if you just mark this as blank it will be star it will be applicable to all instead you can just give a name also here node.js app let's say repos uh, repository and branch also you can select but I will just keep it for now okay let's click on next here we need to give some permissions like which AWS resource we need to provide access so let me just for example I'm not gonna deploy or anything to S3 I'm just gonna validate things if everything is working fine right so that I I'm gonna do so I'll just click on next here I will just name as github action role here okay so here if you see this we have allowed that uh, this is the string equal this is the audience and this is the the uh, organization and the repository so if we see this document also they also suggest the same thing right so a string like is used with the wildcard operator to allow any branch or pull request so in this we can change it also we can customize it uh, but it will come automatically we can edit this as well if we want but I will just keep it and I will click on create role right so the role is created here github action role right so now what next so I'm gonna work on the github repository and here I'm gonna create a new branch AWS OIDC AWS OIDC let it be OIDC test okay so that's it I created a branch here and let me just take this branch also get check out AWS OIDC test right and I will be on this branch that's correct and here what I have to do okay let me just uh, the text size I think that's fine so I'll just name it as uh, workflow name as github AWS OIDC right and when it should be triggered uh, I have created this branch right so this branch only I want this workflow to be triggered you can select any specific rule if you have but for this tutorial I'm gonna add this rule that this will be triggered only on this branch when I will commit something okay so here the job name is this one so I can change it to OIDC test something okay and it will be running on the Ubuntu latest right and here are the some actions check out source this is fine and the next here we don't want all of this here we want this action actually this is the action we need here here this is configure AWS credentials this is the action used for to connect to your AWS environment this is provided by AWS itself so we can use this so what we have to use here exactly is mm -hmm, OIDC rights this one so we need in order to create JWT we need to add this ID token write and contents read this permissions we need to give to this workflow so this we have to write here write itself and that's it and what next we have to do this is v4 now next we have to add this action right let me just format it so let me just correct it it's not for china region using oidc and the version seems to be fine 
and audience i don't want to add this i'm just gonna add my aws region which i'm working so i'm gonna work in ap south one is asia specific you can use us east one or any other if you are in if you need any specific region and here that's it so this role to assume so this also we have to add so this i'm gonna add in my github secrets so i will add in github secrets so mm, i can make it as aws i am role right and once this is done okay so first let's see how we're gonna get this so in the github repository we have to add this value how you gonna add this go to secrets and variables and then the actions here you can create a new repository secrets with this role i have already created so i'm gonna update this value here so here this is my role here you copy this arn and just paste it here update the secret your secret key okay done now what next this is done and once this is done we are gonna verify if the credentials are successful right so what we're gonna do we'll just use the uh, let's say test uh, aws credentials i'm gonna just run a simple command aws get uh, aws sts get caller identity which will gives us the uh, our caller identity details right okay so we are gonna run this command aws sts get caller identity right that's it let's commit this changes and run our workflow okay so get status get add this specific one get hyphen m aws oidc connectivity test and we are gonna push this changes right away okay now if we go to the actions tab we'll see your action will be running and the job is oidc test let's see so assuming role with oitc okay something seems to be wrong here Mm -hmm. zooming role with OITC let's refresh this Hmm, something seems to be wrong with this actually. Might be the role we have provided is not correct or something is wrong here. AP South 1 is the correct region we have provided. Okay. Let's wait for a minute or we'll cancel this and again we'll go to the role this is correct this is our role policies roles get of action if we want to read on let's try this as well No, something is wrong with this. This is keep repeating. So it 
does return with error okay so we have cancelled this so let's go to secrets and see if that is stored correctly actions aws im role okay so sorry this role is not updated even we have updated this now if we see this is updated right so it was don't know why this was picking the by default that value so now if we re-trigger this this will work so we haven't done anything wrong just the value was not updated correctly now it should work properly let's see yes so we can see here is everything is working fine here so we can see this uh, action run and with this particular role and it is authenticated as this particular role id and when we ran this command it provided us this user id and provide the user details and the account details and the arn this is the amazon resource name that we have copied that is the correct information because we are able to connect to AWS then only we are able to see this command output otherwise you will see something like this error okay so in those cases we will see that uh, your credentials are not there you need to configure the AWS account right so once that is success only then only you will be able to see this caller identity details so that we have added this step here right so this is the very basic step that we have to follow to connect to github right so that's it you have successfully connected github actions to aws using oitc we authenticated securely without storing any aws secrets or access keys and use temporary credentials issued dynamically during the workflow this setup not only simplifies your ci cd pipeline it also allows best practices for cloud security if you found this helpful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Integrations Ninjas for more hands-on DevOps content. Got any questions or want to see this tied into a real deployment? Drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.